good morning kids uh, today i'll be teaching you uh, some basic uh, ground markings of cricket especially only related to the pitch now many times when we see a cricket pitch we do not know exactly what is the distance from one stump to another stump what is the break up of the pitch and how many uh, feet or meters it should be in so today uh, i brought this uh, video so that you understand the measurement of the pitch and the height of the stump clear so starting with the stump as you can see in the middle the stump one of the stumps are made red that's the middle stump the height of the stump should be 2 feet 4 inches right so we the reason why this is so that uh, the the stump should be little bit above the knee level of the player the distance between uh, the three stumps as you can see stump 1 2 and 3 i have drawn uh, two red lines top and down the distance should be 9 inches right across now why this is so that uh, the measurement remains equal on both the sides of the cricket pitch the stump should be having 9 inches from one stump to the other stump on one side of the ground now let's talk about the crease right whether it's the bowling side or the batting side and only the crease what we are talking about is the length of the crease not the width of the crease the length of the crease should be 2 meters 2.64 meters in length right you can see from one line to the other side that is 64 2.64 meters clear the other side also it is the same 2.64 meters then you have outside that crease as you can see 0.51 meters now this is the area where the running takes place between the stumps and whatever that is you can or uh, it's outside the crease line that's 0.51 meters clear you can see it's highlighted on both the sides the other side is just a small dot small blue area i made and this side is uh, you can see a little bigger area that's uh, 0.5 meters now the full length of the crease that is from uh, one side of the uh, pitch to the other side of the crease you can see 3.66 meters okay you can see even that 0.5 meters whatever uh, 50 meters that has also been added from that side and the other side it's been taken together and made it as 3.66 meters that's the full uh, crease of one side of the uh, pitch as you can see it's highlighted in blue then coming to the crease the width of the crease right earlier we saw the length of the crease now the width of the crease that is 1.22 meters that is in front of the stump and 1.22 meters behind the stump right that's the red area which you can see it's the same thing 1.22 meters now this is the area where either the bowler or the batsman has to stand so that uh, the game can continue here you have the area the play area that is from one crease to the other crease not counting the crease apart from the crease the ground the length should be 17.68 meters i am talking about from one crease that's the uh, starting part of one crease to the starting part of the other crease the area should be uh, 17.68 meters right clear here you have from one side of the crease to the other side of the crease that is from the stump to stump the total distance of the pitch is 20 meters uh, 20.12 meters right uh, it cannot be more than that it cannot be less than that 20.12 meters from one stump to the other stump you can see the highlighted area in blue so this is the area of your batting area and your both the batsman and the runner who plays in this area understood the the pitch of the batting and the bowling area ground next part i'll be bringing you let's the ground perimeters i hope this video you understood about the pitch and how it, how the measurements are made and think next time it'll, i'll be bringing you a video on how the batting and all is done in which areas and what are the points of the ground have a nice day